This video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Portsmouth Road to Glory career mode, of course, in FIFA 16. So the first game that we play in this episode will be against Luton Town. Okay, cool. The second game that we play will be against Northampton. Okay. And then the third game that we play in the Capital One Cup will be against Southampton. I know there's a rivalry between Portsmouth and Southampton. What's it called? Like the South Coast Derby or something like that. So that's going to be crazy that we get to play them so early into the series. And uh, yeah, not only that, I think it's hilarious that the day or the game before we play Southampton is Northampton. So we're going to play Northampton. And then we're going to play Southampton. That's just fucking like, wow. After that, we then finish up with Accrington Stanley. And then we play Wickham Wanderers. And then we pretty much leave it there. The Johnstons Paint, or the Johnstons Paint Trophy is uh, going to be the first game of the next episode. I do have to admit that that sort of a coincidence is mildly amusing. But still, anyway, we're going to continue on with the first game against Luton Town. We'll play this one. We'll probably sim the game against, uh, against Northampton. So that way we have as fresh a team as possible for one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game that we already have to play within four episodes against Southampton. What a win. What a win if we were to get it against Southampton. That would be fantastic. Especially being a fourth tier team, them being pretty decent Premier League players or pre a pretty decent Premier League side. That would just be so sweet. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna kick it off with Luton Town first, so let's go. So no wasting time then. Luton Town are gonna get it kicked off, and here we go. First game of the episode. Oh, that's a brilliant little and over the top and diving header, one nil. That was so simple. Are you kidding me? What is it with Nathan Burns and scoring super early goals? Roberts puts on the pressure, just sneaks it off him. It's a brilliant ball by Roberts as well, right at the back post. Perfectly weighted. That wasn't even a cross. That was an LBY ball. So maybe I should be doing more of that instead of holding down X because my crossing recently has been absolute wank. But Burns, another early goal. I would love to go back and see when he scored all of his goals because he would have scored about three or four goals within the first 10 minutes of about four or so separate games. It's incredible. Oh no, this is not good. Sawa Cambo's injured. He looks, he feels slower. And this is not good because look, he's getting away. Makes a tackle anyway. We aren't even at half time and yet I'm making the substitution. Uh, Isaac Sawa Cambo has been injured for the last 20 minutes. He's just not been getting better. He, uh, I was hoping he'd walk it off or run it off. It hasn't happened. He's still injured and I'm just going to take him off. We're going to get Ender Stevens on. Stevens, gonna try to take some on. Tackle, clean. Apparently, no, it isn't. Nope, it's get it, squeeze it through. And one more. No! Ah, oh, dear. Come on, man. Why is it always the final ball into the box and we just never hit the target? All right, come on. Ooh, yeah, we could have crossed. Oh, but instead, I'm gonna do this. I don't mind this, you know. Roberts all over the back of him, and that is a penalty. That is what I thought. All over the back of him, pushed him in. He just pushed him straight in the back, shoved him to the ground. Why does my controller keep disconnecting? Watch it again. In the end, I went to try to fake shot, thinking that Doyle would have ended up in front of me. Instead, Roberts was ahead, and he got shoved in the back. Absolutely a penalty. Maybe, uh, I don't know, the Luton Town fans will probably tell you otherwise, but this would really be to bury it. To put it beyond Roberts... Just right in the corner, mate. That's all we want. What a penalty. He goes the right way, but that is so well in the corner. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Bennett and Abner. Bennett and Abner. Oh, here we go. Abner, just keep on running forward, mate. Or maybe we'll go inward. Oh, you betcha that's what we're going to do. Abner plays him through. Abner, is he about to get an assist? Is Roberts about to score the third goal? Roberts is having a brilliant game. An assist right away within the first few minutes. Two goals now. Gary Roberts, ladies and gentlemen, just book him in for the man of the match for this one. It is 100% certain. Good. It's enough. It's enough. It is enough. Can we low cross this in, maybe? Maybe! What a ball! Nathan Burns, 4-0. What an unreal assist from Kyle Bennett. That is absolutely perfect. I'm trying to... I'm not trying to pick out Burns. I'm trying to pick out... Who's number 15? I'm... I'm, I'm going to feel bad because I don't know. But I was trying to pick out number 15. I'm having a mental blank. I'm sorry, guys. But Nathan Burns, he'll take that. He'll just stick that home. That's 4-0. Easy. What a game this is. What an amazing result. A 4-0 win. And that will be full-time. 4-0. It was 1-0 at halftime. And just like so many other games that we have played so far in this series, it starts off brilliantly with an early goal. Then it's very cagey. The other team really gets into the contest and starts... You know, having a fair few attacks, almost looking like the better sides at times. And sometimes, to be fair, they are the better side. But in the last few minutes, 
We just come out and bang, we score so many goals in so, in like, ridiculously quick succession. Gary Roberts is your man of the match from FIFA 16 with a 9.4 and it doesn't even, no, no question at all. Obvious, obvious man of the match, Gary Roberts with a 9.4. So, that will go to his total. I believe that maybe takes him up potentially to second, maybe third. Now, unfortunately, we did pick up that injury to say why Cambo really early in that match. We actually had to make a very early sub in the first half, about 40 minutes in for Ender Stevens. So, three weeks though. We've had a few injuries recently, unfortunately. We've had a couple of injuries with uh, some sim games, and now we've picked up this one. That means Sewa Cambo is going to unfortunately miss the game against Southampton. That's the big game that I'm really looking forward to. I am going to sim once again, like I said, this Northampton game because I do want my players as well rested as possible. And if I were to play this game uh, against Northampton, my players would be much, much more tired than, let's say, if I just sim the game right now. Because they do conserve energy and conserve stamina much, much better if you just sim the match. The problem is, though, it's a way. Northampton are a relatively decent team, I think. They've drawn one and drawn their last three games, and yeah, they've won. They've won away results, away sim games. They just don't work out for you. Well, we've simmed a few games, and we are yet to lose a game. We're yet, we were yet to lose a game, just period. That is the first loss of the season against Northampton. Well, that sucks, but I guess it was coming. It, it was coming at some point. We made it all the way to what? September, like late September for our first loss. I will, I'm not going to be too upset about that, if you don't mind. The highest rated player, by the way, in that game was Christian Burgess with a 5.8. That's how bad a performance we must have had for the highest rated player to not even get above 6. That is the absolute lowest rating that we've received for a man of the match so far. But this is the big one. The South Coast Derby. Southampton versus Portsmouth. So despite simulating the last game, we still do have a quite fair few amount of pretty tired players that might not be able to see out the whole game, but uh, definitely players that are a little bit tired, like Burns, Bennett, Webster, of course, and Rebelin as well. So uh, there are some players I've got to keep my eye on, but we have rotated the team around a little bit. We've got Saltar in there, who's going to be playing at centre-back. Stevens back at left-back as well. Davies at right-back because of the uh, Sewa Cambo injury. So yeah, it's mental. But what a win this could be to knock out your rivals in the cup competition when you're a fourth tier English team and they are a pretty decent Premier League side. It would be something, something special. It really would. I'd love to get it done. I'm feeling good. I'm in good form right now. Can I continue it with this match? Here we go. I don't know what it is. It's the lineup or the formation or whatever, but I feel so good right now when I'm playing with this Portsmouth team. Maybe something might make me think that it could be our opponents. So this is the first time that we are playing a team that isn't really a League 1 or a League 2 side. So uh, yeah, Southampton. They're pretty decent. They have made a couple of recent signings like Kevin Volan, who's added. And again, they always buy a crazy, uh, crazy striker. Kevin Volan is pretty tame compared to some of the strikers that I've seen Southampton pick up like Pato, but still. Either way, this is it. Underway against our rivals. Let's get it done. Quick counter-attacks, everyone. Quick counter-attacks. We want to Leicester City the shit out of this. Come on. Smith. Not that fast, but at least we go out wider. We buy some time. Stevens. Slowly does it. Little ball in the middle. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, he's put it wide, Nathan Burns. All those amazing chances that we were getting so early in the game, and he nearly had the chance to continue it. He's finally missed one. Little tackle by Evans, and he couldn't pass it out, unfortunately. Went right back to Rodriguez. Good touch in. Just get in the way. Cross. Clear. Oh, my God. It just went straight back to Stephen Davis, but thankfully, it's hit the post and gone out. Well, that's not good at all. And Davies will go the whole way. Square. No. Oh, he didn't make sharp enough of a turn. Ran straight into Yoshida. We are seriously getting good chances. We could be up right now, and we probably deserve to be. I don't think either team's going to have the time if they just keep passing the ball around, switching it like that, surely. Yep, that's it. All right, halftime. Still nil-nil. In, in all honest opinion, and even in my totally unbiased opinion, we really should be in front right now. I really do think we did enough, and we deserve to be in front. Burns had the chance of the fucking game. Right, in, with, right within the first five or six minutes again, and this time he missed it. Southampton with the occasional attack, don't get me wrong, but yeah, there's just no way. And obviously, Stephen Davis has gone off for Tadic. So, second half begins. Of course, the game against Southampton was the only game where the goals just weren't coming in like left, right, and center in recent times. Oh! I nearly fucking spoke way too soon. But we've still got to defend well. Keep doing what we're doing. Oh, dearie me. one armor Picked off. He just gets the ball right back. Crosses in. Header is there. What a save by Murphy. 
Big, big save by Murphy. We're still in this thing. I just won't give it up. I won't give it up. Slide tackle. Here it is. Holland. Go, 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 go. Smith takes a shit touch and Classy makes it. The only one back and he's the one that takes it. Fucking Smith. What about now? What about now? Shit touch again. Fuck these shit touches. Classy keeps getting them all. We're not going to get it, are we? We're not going to get the time. There's just no... No, there's no way. We have to go to extra time now. Fuck, there were two great chances to get him on a counter-attack. They had no one fucking back. Two shit touches. And they get the ball straight back. Fuck Smith, man, really. I mean, I swear. He had a good start in the preseason tournament friendlies. And I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get this striker. He was, he was looking all right. But no, I don't fucking... Nah, I just... I'm so fucking happy I got Nathan Burns. He's been banging him in. Whilst fucking Smith... Nah, he hadn't done shit so far. Right up the middle. Look at this fucking gap. Look at that fucking gap. 1-0, extra time, in the 95th minute, it's one Yama. Look, I gave the ball there, I tried to pass it to a bloke on the wing, I basically just passed it straight into Yoshida, and look, they get it straight in the middle, and there's a fucking gigantic gap that they just run through in between Suta and who, Webster. I still feel like there's time. Smith, he's got by one. Play him through. Just hit it first time, bang. Good shot. Button, button. It won't sneak in, Davis gets it. Here it is, here it is. Here it is, 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 Davis! Fuck you! Are you kidding me with that? Move it up quick, Barton. Oh, he got by one. Pass there is decent. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this, come on. Smith, fake shot. Oh my god, he's actually done well. He's done very well. Do it here. Hit it! Rodriguez getting back. Roberts is there though! Shoot, mate! Penalty, surely! How is that not a penalty? You're kidding me, he got the ball there. Are you fucking telling me he did? Unbelievable, look at this. I swear to God he didn't touch the ball. He steps over it. He takes me out in the legs. His shoulder fucking blade hits the ball. No, every day that's a penalty. Holland, come on. Slide tackle, it's poor. He's jumped over him. Go, send him through again. There it is. Just have to hit it. What a fucking attempt. If only it was on target. And that's probably the last chance we're going to get. One minute. Well, one thing I learned from this game is that Smith can never start up front again because he's just not fucking... He's just not good enough anymore. Burns is here, and he's just not good enough. And he was... And, and I know I'm saying this when Burns had the chance in the first couple of minutes to win the game, really. Take it 1-0. They didn't score. Um, in full time anyway, or in usual time. But, no, nah, Southampton have beaten Portsmouth in extra time. I'd love to have taken it to penalties. We should have fucking got one ourselves, but we didn't. Somehow, because it's fucking game. But, yep, we lost. I guess I can't, in the end, be too disappointed. They were a Premier League, or they are a Premier League team with some insane players that are just nowhere near the level of our players right now. We have one player that's 70 rated, and their highest rated players would be up toward the potential mid-80s, depending on how well they've been growing, but a lot of their players would be around the 80 mark, high 70, so, I mean, we were well and truly outclassed. We're, on paper, we're well and truly outclassed, but we fucking put it to them. We came so close, especially right toward the first few minutes, but it's going to be a 1-0 loss in extra time, and we are out of the Capital One Cup. And I'm also going to give Danny Holland's man of the match because he was absolutely sublime today. Murphy made a few decent saves, but I don't really think he got man of the match, but 7.1 for Danny Holland. Well, yep, we have finished the game, and I'm, I'm, I'm a bit flat. I am a bit flat. I know we, the fourth-tier English team, going up against a Premier League team, and we didn't win, and I'm all disappointed. I know I can... I know a bit... Uh, yeah, I, I just don't know. I, I, I just can't I can't accept the loss even when... I just can't do it. I can't take it. Especially when it's a rival game. So that that probably... It doesn't help me out that much either. You know, we're going to hopefully move on from here. We're going to hopefully start kicking ass again. We've lost two games, actually, in this episode alone. Have we? I think we've lost two games already in this episode alone. Northampton and fucking Southampton. Both the fucking Hamptons have fucking beaten us 1-0. And I do not want another loss please Portsmouth versus Accrington Stanley they've lost drawn and lost their last three games an early goal what is it with Burns and early goals he's un he's just unreal and they missed a penalty I'm gonna skip we oh my god four nil Abner got a goal Burns got a brace uh re uh Rebelin I'm still fucking up his name I've got like seven different ways of saying it but either way it's a four nil win Nathan Burns to be expected got man of the match after getting a brace normally when you get two goals or a goal and an assist that's always enough but yeah 9.2 for Nathan Burns in that match watch out Gareth Evans because he is 100% coming for your top spot they're both on three man of the match votes or both have three man of the matches throughout this whole season, but I guarantee, I can almost guarantee you that Burns definitely has a higher score. So our next game's a full week away. We're going to be super well rested. We have a player returning from injury. I have actually forgotten who that is. Wow, that's a bit bad of me. Oh, that's right. That's Sewa Cambo. So he's going to hopefully be back for this game against Wickham. 
Say why Cambo is back from injury, but again, he's fresh from injury, and uh, I don't want to risk it again because I have, as it has happened before in the past, where we have a player that's got the little Band-Aid logo. Even though they might be fully fit, they come in their game and they just free into themselves super easily. I'm just not going to do it. Freeman's the only change. Apart from that, starting 11 team. Webster, Burgess, there There have definitely been a few players that have shot up to uh, that have increased in their overall and players that I have not been training either. So it's very exciting. Definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of players on the up right now. It's great to see. But final game of this episode. Let's hopefully see it out with a win. Have a look at that. The best defensive teams in League 2. Four goals conceded, we're the best. Macclesfield with six, and then the rest are nines and tens in the top five. That's insane. I do normally have the best defensive record, or I'm up there most of the time with my career modes in FIFA 16, but that is crazy. Four goals, and we're about, what, up to our 10th game already. This is a fair effort. And a big tackle immediately from Abner. We could be away for a big attack right now. A big, big chance. Burns holds. Abner, get it to him. Amazing work. Abner! 1-0! What an incredible start! The Real Madrid loanee, the Brazilian, Abner, started that with a brilliant tackle. Amazing work down the touchline to keep it in. He kept going the whole way. Brilliant work by Burns into play in there as well. And a great ball in and amazing finish. A brilliant, brilliant start. It's a shame it didn't go back far enough, but Burns somehow kept the ball. Another big pass, I think, from uh, Riba, Ribelin or whatever into Ribelin. I need to figure out his fucking name. I've got to nail it already. But Abner goes all the way up from left back and scores a beaut. So it's another super early goal. Not scored this time by Nathan Burns, but by Abner, assisted by Ribelin. Oh, that is a big, heavy touch. And yep, he's away. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, he tried to square it. He tried to sweat it. You are joking yourself, mate. Oh, my God. What was that pass? What a save again from Murphy. Who the hell did you think I was trying to get it to there? Fucking hell. Yep. There it is. There it is. He's away. Come on. Power this. Or, you know, hit across. Oh, I hit the post again. One day, I will hit the post and it'll bounce in. That day is not today. Come on. Come on. Bang. Oh, I saw the run being made at the back post. Keeper was fucking... Jesus, he was all over it. I'll tell you what, it might actually happen. Bang, Reblin. Oh, my! He saved it. He hit the post. It will never go in if it hits the post for us. I'm fucking... I'm going to go and make a, a fucking video just by itself of... You know, to be fair, that was going over the bar. So if that had gone in, that would have been super lucky. But I'm, I'm just saying, every time it's hit the post, it hasn't gone back in for us. It's always kept us the fuck out. Knock it forward. He's going to get caught, is he? Evans. He's alright. It's okay. Freeman. He's going all the way back up with it. He shot it. The keeper is saved again. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my. I thought for sure. Alright, this is it then. We have 30 seconds until stoppage time. I've made my subs. They're going all the way back to the keeper. Three minutes of it. Three minutes. If we can keep them penned in here, we'll do pretty well... Tackle. There it is, Evans. Brilliant work. Oh, he's onside? No, he's not. He's offside. He's fucking offside. He's fucking offside. You were in an offside position where there was no one around you. You couldn't get back. You couldn't get back in time, Burns. I couldn't fucking... I don't believe this. Like, fucking... Are you kidding me? Did he just get, what, too excited? And he's just like, oh my god, I'm finally going to score. But he just fucking completely forgot about the fact that you have to stay onside. Un... It's unbelievable. Come on. And that will be full time. My goodness me. How about this game? It's so typical. Score early. You either sc I either score super early, and then the whole game's a shit fight like this, or I score early. Uh, most of the game is a shit fight, but in the last couple of minutes, I just go absolutely crazy and just score a whole bunch of goals. That is this fucking game for me right now. And unfortunately, we didn't get the uh, we didn't get the later. We didn't get the absolute going rampant. But Abner. What an amazing, what an amazing start to the game. And he's actually done very, very well since. Was pretty good in def uh, on back on defense as well, which is obviously what you want in your left back. The man of the match for that game was Abner. FIFA 16 gave it to Abner, 8.1 rates, and of course the goal scorer of the only goal. And uh, I tell you what, he may have got the goal, but it's not just that. Let's break down some of his stats. You've got shots on target, one, obviously that's fine. Passes, nine out of 11. Dribbles, nine out of nine. Crosses, obviously didn't attempt any. Tackles, three out of three. Insane stuff. He had a brilliant game. Definitely his best game so far for Portsmouth. And you betcha he's got my man of the match. So that's 8.1 and the first couple of points for Abner. The next game that we have to play will be the first game in the Johnston's Paint Trophy. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we will, uh, or am I really looking forward to it? I honestly don't know. I did say that I would almost just consider simming all the way through the Johnston's Paint Trophy because even for like a fourth tier English club, the lowest league possible that you can play as in FIFA or a club from you can play in FIFA with, like seriously, the Johnston's Paint Trophy, 
We're te technically, to be fair, we are knocked out of the Capital One Cup, so if we're still going for a cup, this is the one. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to think about it. I know that you get absolutely piss all in comparison to even the Capital One Cup and the FA Cup for the Johnson's Paint Trophy, so... I don't know. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode. We ended it pretty well. We got the 1-0 win in the end. It was scrappy, but we got it. And Abner's starting to look very, 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 very good, of course. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the win against uh, Southampton, which was unfortunate against the rivals. But hey, don't you worry. In a few years' time, when we're the fucking shit, they are going to be quaking in their boots. And I'm going to try to get to that day as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching another episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to take a look at the Masterbuck store, of course, if you want to pick up a TMB shirt or any other pretty cool designs that we've got over there. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one. Bye-bye.